Hello, here's some bits and pieces of videos and pictures that pretty much sums up MCO for me. Of course, it all started with an announcement by our PM about the lockdown, and the phrase Jangan Gesini became notorious for all. Since we have special announcements now and then which made us super anxious and of course we have the hero of this pandemic, our health DG. Remember the time when toilet papers were flying off shelves? I remember we were so worried about the health and well-being of our family members who are frontliners. And that switch to online classes making us all experts in video calls. Inevitably, there will be some downs when life decides to throw you a curveball. But I'm so grateful that mental health and self-care gained much attention during that time too. As for me, it was indeed an exciting time filled with anxiety, as it was my first time running for an election and making things more unfamiliar, it was done online. After that, we had to build our society's social media presence from scratch. Everything was a learning curve from there. We brought all our events online, even a hands-on workshop. We tried our best and played a part in raising funds for those in need too. Then, we had a new norm where we brought the whole world into our home. We have platforms like Consultoid and Smiles where we get to learn with students across the globe. We unleash the creative side of this, making our home the place we wish to be. When we can't attend churches, we adapt and worship at home. When we can't meet our families across the sea, we adapt and even grandparents in their 80s now are expert in Zoom calls. We celebrated Hari Raya online with all bodies of IMU and I felt so blessed and kept thinking, what a time to live in. It was also my first time taking part in a cooking competition. There were just too too many firsts during this period of time and I'm just so amazed with life. Throughout MCO, we also get to celebrate many special dates. Mother's Day, Father's Day, Birthdays, and we get to spend time with our most loved ones. Besides our obligations as students, many of us also get to dive into our passion. Here's me picking up shadow boxing from online classes, and I've also spent so much time in the kitchen trying to satisfy my all kinds of cravings. Say what you want to say to me now. Really good opportunity to let the creative side of us come out to play. Say what you want to say to me now. I want to wake up with you in the morning. Show me the and I believe many of us have become little entrepreneurs during this period of time. As the lockdown is up, we get to revisit pre MCO days to prepare for a near future. Here's me making a trip to the little campus for some parents. If you found the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah. These days I don't worry. During our MCO, we can finally enjoy some Chuti Chuti Malaysia. A reminder to us that our home country is as beautiful or even better than some top travel destinations. The grass is not always greener on the other side. If there is one thing that we can all learn from this pandemic, is that life is full of uncertainties. And we got to be fluid and not be ossified in our thinking. Be like a chameleon, my dad always reminds me. I'll be back to campus, my dear friends, and may we all be courageous to take on this uncharted notice. See you, stay safe. The COVID-19 pandemic had an incredible impact on my life. Things are always so fluid and vague. Situations are always changing for our own safety and health. 
Over the past six months, the only constant for me is change. I am always am expecting change, always adapting to change, and always making the best out of the changes. I have learned that in life, we cannot complain and whine when things don't go our way. Instead, we must persevere and rise to the challenge. We must always find a way to utilize our time wisely, no matter the situation. I did two weeks of clinical electives under the ONG department in Liverpool. However, due to the dire situation in the UK, it was best for me to come back to Malaysia. I adapted to the situation by doing it in clinic family setapak as well as volunteering as a medical aide for the homeless. To be honest, the MCO lockdown environment has made me quite lonely sometimes, but it made me cherish and appreciate those who were actually there for me. My family, my boyfriend, my friends were always there for me and we learned to communicate and still have fun during a pandemic. What the world is going through during these times is the most life-changing event we are likely to experience. It is severely impacting billions of people's lives. Darwin famously said, it is not the strongest of species that survives, nor the most intelligent that survives. It is the one that is most adaptable to change. No truer words could ever be spoken about 2020, the year forever marked by the reality that is COVID-19. Welcome to the life of an unemployed doctor. Today we'll be baking a marble cake. Get yourself some flour, sugar, vanilla syrup, cocoa powder, and more flour, and five eggs. And a timer because it is very important to be punctual and never keep your friends waiting. Let's start off with some butter. Did you know that butter is made of animal fat and margarine is made of plant oils? What? Next, you're gonna get yourself with diabetes with all that sugar. You're going to mix all of that and if you're a lazy person like me, just get a mixer. And if you want to build more biceps, then don't. Get it smooth and creamy for, I don't know, 2 minutes? Next, you're going to break 5 eggs into your large bowl. I could only break one at a time and people who can do more than that are a big show off. And you're going to continue mixing it like just now. And now for the next part, the secret ingredient, vanilla syrup. So what you're gonna do is you're supposed to add one teaspoon, but you know what the heck, you're just gonna put all. So you're just gonna continue mixing it, and if you're doing it right, you're supposed to change your life. And then you're gonna add some hot water to the cocoa powder, and also my dad bought this super cute spatula that looks like a squirrel. And next, you're gonna mix whatever you have in the large bowl into the small bowl and you're gonna start mixing it again and you're supposed to go like, yes, look at that color! And you're gonna take whatever remaining in the large bowl and spread it evenly into the baking pan and just start spreading it evenly and you take from the small bowl and start layering it and make it layer and layer and it's supposed to turn out something like bloop! And oh my god, don't get it though. And to all my boys out there, show the girls that we can bake too. Baking is fun, but the cleaning is not. So the next step is we're going to put our baby into the oven. I'm going to set it for an hour for it to puff up and then we'll be right back. By the way, have you guys seen the cases lately? It keeps going up recently and because of that, I do not know when I'll have my convocation. But damn, look at how our baby turned out. Everybody lies, both men and women. But one thing that don't lie are cakes. All cakes are good and mmm mmm does taste good. But in all seriousness, wear your damn mask when you go out. If you don't care about yourself, think of baby Yoda. He's just a 50 year old kid. All life matters. And also do it on the screen about finance act. Please don't arrest me. This video is just for my own personal entertainment. Peace out. <laughs>